check out this ultralight daisy chain it's 764 am steel with a triple pass splice every three inches so i'm using this for a suspension um each end of this piece that i've made has a evo loop perfect for tying the becket hitch and then we have our every three inch splice and uh, here's the other end of it it has another evo loop and then here is these little soft shackle buttons they're soft link buttons these are iteration two of my titanium buttons they're a softer material that's nicer on the am steel and they're uh, lighter and they have a little bit of a uh, chamfering on the holes and on the edge so this just pops in every three inches wherever we want it and it works like a daisy chain so we got this part hanging here is a water break and the cool thing about the the evo loop and and these uh splices if you have an evo loop like this on the end of your hammock you don't even need the button so you can go 100 percent hardware free one of the other things I had in mind when I decided to, to try this as a suspension, your leftover piece here, it always has these little attachment points on the, on the hanging part, the excess hanging part, and up on your main line. So if you take one of these like little Evo loops that I make with a little button knot and put it on your backpack or other piece of gear like a lanyard, you can instantly hang it anywhere along here. So say I wanted to hang my uh, backpack right here, I, and I had a little, uh, sorry about the focus today, I had a little Evo loop on the end, I can just pop it in wherever I want, right along here, or maybe I want to be down here by the grass, I can just pop my uh, backpack in there, and it'll just, uh, whoops, and then it'll just hang out right there, and it's still a quick release, I can just pop it out like that. And this, this whole length of line is also an adjustable um, dog bone extension. Because with the, uh, the Evo loop at the end, I can take the end and just bring it up and connect it wherever I want to shorten it. Kind of like a whoopee sling. So it has a built-in soft shackle at each end with the, with the button knot being tied there. So I could, I could also just take this end and throw it around a sewn loop. Throw it around... Uh, the end of a backpack or even throw it around the log and drag a log around in the woods so pretty cool um that's just a quick look at this little splice daisy chain and a quick intro on these new chamfered buttons i'm going to offer um these are basically um designed to create a soft shackle when when added to a uh a splice loop like this here's a quick look at that so I've just ticked the button and let it go all the way to the end where it's spliced. And then I have a loop on the other end. So that, that creates a place to create either a, uh, a soft shackle like this. One moment, please. I just throw the loop around the end like that. Creates an instant soft shackle. Great for connecting whoopee slings and other stuff. This button also works with sewn daisy chain. Like uh, atlas straps and other lightweight stuff. But you can also do this the soft link way from sailing. So for the soft link, you take the loop at the end and pass it through the two legs. And then you go over, you go over that. And you can see that's the soft link. So you can use this with, you don't have to use this with Amsteel. You can use it with like Paracord 1000 paracord 750 and and other and other stuff too but now we have a soft shackle that is uh not not at all likely to um pop loose without a little bit more care and effort where you have to take the button and push it back through what i like about this button is it has a nice tactile um feel to it it's easily recognizable by touch so like I'm doing this today with one hand and I can do it fairly easily so if you had to mess with it in the dark it would be pretty easy and the aluminum is way lighter than the titanium now I made some titanium ones 
like this and they're pretty good although with extreme use they do fray the cord a little bit see right there i've been really going out of my way to um, use this one and test it and it it's just a harder material and the the aluminum is softer and it's much nicer on any material okay so that's the uh, soft shackle buttons and the splice daisy chain i'll have a how-to on how to do that splice daisy chain it's pretty easy all you need is a splicing tool and uh, um, some line and a little bit of patience to tie the button on thanks for watching see you guys in the next one